guilty of murder in the first degree. On the evidence presented, I can find no reason to interfere with the verdict. Therefore, it is the sentence of this court that you, Richard Waters, be taken to the state penitentiary and on a day and an hour convenient to the warden on or about September the 13th of this year, it is ordered that you shall be executed in the mood and manner prescribed by the laws of this state. And may God have mercy on your soul. On the car. Okay. Goodbye, Killer John Mears. Goodbye, Bert. Give him my best regards. <laughs> Wait, Wait a minute. I will. I will. Glad I've met you, Walters. So am I. Thanks. Well, this is the last mile. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck, dear Moro. Why? I actually think so. Nothing, only I didn't hear you whistling when you came home and you've lost your appetite. That means either a girl or a gas station. Well, maybe I've got super octane indigestion. Oh. Are you worried about the gas station? Yes, Mother, I am. I, I got the canceled checks from the bank today and I, I find that Max has been drawing out the gas money and spending it. Oh, well, he has a right to draw against the profit. Yes, if that's all he had done. But he's taken the state tax money and used it. No. It's due the collector on the 6th. How much? Well, it's, it's $150. I never thought Max would do a thing like that. Yeah, well, he's done it. You haven't enough money to pay the collector? Well, I got about $40 in the till, and that's not going to help very much. Did you say anything to Max this afternoon? No, I didn't, but I'm going to settle with him tonight. Aren't you going to eat? No, I'm not hungry. I'm going on down to the station. Dick? Don't you make any trouble. Don't you worry, Mother, I won't. That partnership ends tonight. Like I ate early tonight. Yeah. Doesn't make me feel bad. I got a heavy day. What are you going to do about these checks, Max? What are you talking about? The what we're on the bank account, tax money and all. What of it? I needed extra bill this month. Yeah, well, you had no business borrowing on my share. Oh, stop belly aching. Station hasn't gone out of business. You can take it out of my pot next month. Yeah. You can't get away with it that easy. You're going to pay that collector, see, and you're going to put the money right on the line, so you better start digging it up. What's the trouble, boys? Nothing, Bill, just a little argument. Ah, uh, you ought to quit squabbling. Forget it. Squabbling only ruins your liver. All right, Bill. <laughs> I suppose I can pull money out of the air. Or maybe the banks will make us a loan against our partnership assets. Yeah, well, from now on, there isn't any partnership, see? You're washed up. 
Oh, yeah? That suits me plenty. You can take what I owe you out of my interest in the joint. May I use your telephone? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Stick him up. Stay around here. What do you get? Nice. Positively identify this as Walter's gun? Yes, sir. How do you know? I've seen it many times. Where? In that drawer at the gas station. He had a permit to carry it. Please confine your statement to direct answers. You testified that when you first came into the station, the defendant and Krugler were engaged in an excited argument. Is that right? Yes, sir. Then when you came up to the door, Walters grabbed Krugler by the coat and yanked him around. Well, yes. As you were leaving the station, Walters walked over to the drawer that held the gun, didn't he? Yes, sir. And when you got back to the station after the shooting, where was the gun? Well, Dick, Walters had it in his hand. And did you see anything of the famous bandit car that Walters talked so much about? No. Not at any time? No. That will be all. Thank you. Your name is Mrs. Walters? Yes. Mrs. Walters. Please believe me when I tell you I regret having to place you on the stand. But I'm an officer of the state, and I'm only doing my duty. You believe that, don't you? Yes, I... Uh, I guess so. Well, Mrs. Walters, on the night of the death of Max Kruger, didn't Richard tell you he was going down to the gas station and have a showdown with his partner? Yes, he did. And you warned him not to make any trouble? Yes. Didn't Richard tell you that he was through with Max? That he was going to end the partnership that night? Yes. But Dick didn't kill Max. He couldn't do a thing like that. He, he's be always been good at God. Thank you, Mrs. Just... Walters. Thank you. Have you agreed upon a verdict? We have, Your Honor. The defendant will rise and face the jury. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. Batman. You gotta hear this death warrant. I don't want to hear it. The rule, it must be read. I'm sick of rules! Death warrant. Richard Walters. To Frank Lewis, warden, state prison. You are hereby ordered to execute Richard Walters, convicted of first-degree murder in the manner provided by the law, on the 13th day of September, at such time as you shall determine, within the walls of your said prison pursuant to the order of this court made and provided. James Griswold, judge presiding. That's that. This one's dead. Yep, too bad. So is this one. Hey, Pat. Come here. Yeah? Take a look at this, will you? Doesn't that answer the description of the watch in the Walters case? To Richard from Father. Yeah, that's it, all right. Warden speaking, Governor. District Attorney at Moreland has just reached me long distance. Said they have new evidence to prove Walter's innocence. I want to stay the execution. I'll uh, send a reprieve tomorrow pending an investigation for full pardon. It may be too late, Governor. There's been a break in the death house. 
The convicts are holding it against us. When did this happen? An hour ago. I've kept the news inside the prison. How serious is it? Have there been any killings? Yes, several. We don't know who's alive in there and who isn't. Find out who's alive? Keep me posted. If Walters is living, tell him his pardon depends on this fight stopping at once and the extent of his guilt in starting it. Yes, sir. Two weeks more and these come off for good. You've pulled through in great shape. Yeah, thanks to you. And Mears. Now, I keep thinking of what Fred said to him after the break started. You're a man, Mears. A crazy man. Yeah, I've been thinking that. I mean, he seemed to go crazy right after he got the keys. Men like Mears are hard to understand. Hello, Mother. Hello, Dick. I brought the oranges this time. Well, how are you feeling today, son? <laughs> Pretty good. Think you could stand a little excitement? Yeah, I guess so. What? It finally got here. A full pardon. I thought you might like to see it. Thanks. 